this is bound if you got pretty good weather so that once you get rains and stuff that holds you up a day or two, you know. You did it for all the neighbors in the area? Yeah, quite a bit toward the east, up to World War II, and then when you start blacktopping, you couldn't, uh, so we just quit. So we just transfer on and Here's the Dryman Lutheran Church. I've belonged here all my life. Sang in a choir for about 40 years. Plays fiddling numbers now and then, you know, and, uh, hymns and stuff like that. I played here last Sunday. And uh, how this Dryman Township here got its name was uh, years ago it was called Lent. And then uh, quite a few of Hollings come over from Norway. And uh, after a while, they circulated petitions, so they got it changed to Draman. So that's how comes it's called Draman here. Then, you know. There in Norway, that's a nice settlement there in a nice city. Uh, Draman, you know, and Draman. We say Draman here, but actually it's supposed to be called Draman, you know. So uh, that's about all I know of the history there, but from the area. My mother come from uh, down the La Crosse or Holman. I'm sure she come from a, her folks that come from Lillehammer. So, uh, like I said, uh, I guess there's some Norwegian blood in me too. That staining and stuff up there. And this Artis Olson, she's our organist here at this church here in the Drama Lutheran Church. This here Leonard Finsett. Guess I've belonged here for uh, 77 years. So, uh, this first number here is uh, Hymns to Norway. A Norwegian is called uh, Good Signa Borg Dire Petri Lang.
Language and folk tune is called I Will Gather Crashers in Heaven. There's a Swedish folk tune. Grandfather done did the altar work, all that. That you know, that was you had to be a wood mechanic to do that. He was just beyond an ordinary carpenter by far. He was, you know. You told me the other day about the ends of the. Yeah, and, of the and all these uh, pews here, they were decorated by uh, someone. Yeah, close by here, his name was uh, Harvey. And if you look at all them, you'll find they're all different. That is all handwork. That's all handwork. Now you've got to be good to do that, you know. And the ends of the, they've been glued together once in a while, one opened up because they got handled a little rough when the fire was on the old church. They got handled a little, little rough, you see, but then they saved them. But you notice all the, the grain work, it's all different, every one of them. You had to have something up here to to go with it, and uh, then here when they built the church, and then they wanted me, Leonard Pinsa, then to do the interior decorating. Well, that was uh, quite a little staining to do, varnishing. And right there, right back to you, Bob. There, I had a ten-foot step ladder, a wiggly one. Had to stand on the very top in order to to varnish and stain out their arch up there. The night after, I had to paint between my uh, 
shoes, legs, you know, and then I had to reach over carefully and get some varnish on the brush and keep the brush up so I'd hold it. Then stand up and then I could probably could reach that there and, and uh, I didn't think any, anything of it then, but I do now. And I worked here on the church quite a bit, you know, from the beginning to finish. Uh, Arnie Thompson and myself, yes, we wheeled all the cement for the, the, for the basement. Then laid the blocks up and stuff for the block layers. It was donation work, you might say. 15 cents an hour. Donation work, you know. And uh, stayed with them. Shingles, some stuff I got up on the top side, you know. And helped put up all this here uh, inside uh, siding material, you know. I don't know just what it is. Put in here down. Uh, so that it's uh, good as far as your acoustics was concerned. It's hardly no bones, no, uh, you know, echo, you know. No. In uh, that uh, baptismal, what's that called? Fund. Huh? Baptismal fund? Yeah. That was built by uh, Chris Hagen. He also was a neighbor from way back in here. So. Uh, in those uh, fire loft seats, some that I, I decorated myself. I got, uh, but I, I couldn't uh, do it like this army could, but I used these cones and rollers. So I got kind of a little uh, crane effect. You know. I tried to match the ends, you know, chocolate brown color, you know. 